Folks in Florida are running out of time to evacuate, as Phil pointed out here, the Broward County Mayor, uh, Barbara uh, Sheriff, joining us on the phone right now. Mayor, um, for those who are looking at this, and a lot of them in high rises, we were showing a few of uh, the backdrop to Phil Keating, they figure that the chances of their high rises um, being destroyed, maybe being without power, but being destroyed are, are, are small. So they feel safer in those high rises. What do you tell them? Well, first of all, we have a storm surge that's estimated at four to six feet. We're expecting 10 to 20 inches of rain, and we have winds that are ranging from 40 to 73 miles per hour starting at 2 p.m. today, and then to increase to 74 to 100 miles per hour at 4 p.m. So if they think that that's a safe thing to do while living in an evacuation zone, you know, we've done the best we can to get them out of there. And um, we will not have emergency response once winds reach over 45 miles per hour. So 911 will not be in effect. Wow. So we will not be able to help them. Mayor, the best thinking seems to be that sometime overnight, tomorrow morning, this brushes by the keys, then moves its way up to your neck of the woods. Uh, are people prepared for that and for the winds that surround this? Because almost everyone with whom I've chatted, including, uh, you know, the, the, the Virgin Islands uh, governor, that that's, that's something that he didn't quite appreciate, that, that, that the wind itself and how destructive and loud it was and is. Okay, so first of all, we, what we did, we took measures to get them off the street. So we're, we issued a 4 p.m. curfew just now. So 4 p.m. today, no one should be on our street. Secondly, our shelters are currently housing almost 15,000 residents who chose to heed our warnings and evacuate. Um, we are, uh, at this point in time, we're not at capacity in our shelters. We have two, we opened two additional shelters. And this wind and this rain from this storm is going to be very severe. And for anybody who feels like this is, is not to be taken seriously, you know, that's a huge concern for us. But, but the majority of Broward County is listening and they're abiding by our, our, our um, request. I'm glad to hear that. And, and Mayor, thank you for all your hard work. I'm sure it's... Uh... Not been an easy past few days. Uh, Mayor Barbara Sharif of Broward County.